Hey everybody, Boston Bow back again. Um, I want to show off, if you can't tell, the, this is a Brachiopalmia Amelia. And I'm excited because she just molted about four days ago, or he, um, unsexed. Um, and you can see it's actually starting to show some color. <laughs> I've had it for about a year now, and, um, really couldn't... You know, you knew I knew it was Amelia, but you know you just couldn't tell. There was no sign that says it just looked like a spiderling. And finally, after the last molt, as you can see here, we're starting to get that black tri well triangle or pyramid going on, which uh, is awesome. And then you can actually see some coloring happen happening here on the legs, on the knees. Um, so definitely excited about that, um, especially since I've had this one for so long. Sorry about the shaky camera work here, but um, definitely a slow grower, but I'm really enjoying this species. Um, it's simple, simple, simple <clears throat> cage setup. Um, I just got a cork bark here for a hide, as you can see in there, you can go in there. And that's just a water bottle cap for water, and then I got some fake plants in here so you could go under hide move them around um and then eco earth and then i mix you know moss in there so but yeah i'm very excited about this because it's like it's actually starting to look like an amelia and so that makes me very very happy um but yeah beautiful beautiful species i i highly recommend it easy to care for really enjoy this species all right i'm gonna put the lid back on this guy and as you can tell here um i do put a lot of ventilation in all my enclosures um just helps with the airflow keeps them a little bit better i'm gonna get this guy out here well actually i haven't sexed this one now this is my brachiopalma vegans um, really, really, really like this species. I mean, it's just so much fun. This one is really curious. Is now, now I want to point something out here. As you see where the, the tea's at, this side's really moist. I know some, I've, I've seen a lot of videos where some vagans like it really dry. Um, I've also seen other videos where vagans like it on the moist end. And this one seems to really enjoy the moist end um constantly drinking water i constantly see it in its water dish i constantly see it on the side that I overfill purposely so i keep this half side a little bit more moist than i normally would for this species but this one just seems to enjoy it i rarely see it on the dry end i mean this guy will go over there or girl i haven't sexed this one yet um but just a gorgeous species. Um, it's a little bit in pre-molt. As you can tell by the rump. How it's starting to get a little bit darker. Um, and the blacks on this are really velvety black. Which I really like. And the rump when it's not. As you can tell it's going into pre-molt. But you can kind of see the red hairs. Has a really 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 pretty. Pretty. Pretty butt. Um, I really do enjoy this species. I definitely recommend it. Um. A little flighty from time to time, I've noticed about this. I mean, nothing too terrible. But, I mean, definitely, I mean, more on the skittish side, I would say. Uh, never thrown up any threats, displays, or anything like that. Just definitely more on the skittish side. If he wants to eat here. Oh, sweet. Sorry if I missed that takedown. That was an awesome takedown of a super mealworm. Um, and for... Out of all my brachias, uh, my brachias, this species for me so far has seemed to be the very best eater. It never misses a meal. It doesn't seem to matter if it's in pre mole or not. It will gladly take a meal every time. Um, and just so you can see, real quick, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. Well, not zoom in, but try to focus. Um, she's moving, but you can see right there by the lake where one fang already punctured, but it's also got it up by the top. So, 
that's how fast they can strike. I mean, boom, there's one one hit there, and then the, the, the went in for it, a better grip, better strike, and now it's holding it down, so very cool. Um, all right, I'm going to leave this one alone now since I just gave it a mealworm. Um, but just cool, cool species. Highly recommend both these species. Um, but yeah, they're fun. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. This is Boxing Ball. Hopefully you guys have a good day. Um, please like, share, comment, subscribe. And uh, real quick, um, uh, David Scott, I believe that's his name. It, it, go check out his channel. Um, great guy. Does a lot of great videos. I really enjoy his videos. I'm, I'm learning a ton from him. Um, I know I talked about a couple other people last time I did one of my tea videos, but I wanted to point out Dave Scott. Um, he's been doing some pretty cool stuff, and he uploads really regular, and he has a lot of stuff. That, I mean, f uh, he owns a Pac-Man frog and and things like that, centipedes, tarantulas, I mean, and, and he's really helpful, really nice guy. I'll try to leave a link in the description to one of his videos. Definitely check him out. Um, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoy this little video. Look at that. Love that. Oh, love this species. Anyway, peace.